Okay, this video is to show you this crossbody bag that I just got in. This is the back side, and as you can see, all of the seams are reinforced, um, not only going across the front and the back, but also at an angle. Um, super sturdy nylon um, fabric that holds on the hardware. The hardware is nice and thick. It's not gonna snap or break easily. Um, you can attach it from either side. The, the lobster claw clasp is heavy duty and it pivots, it swivels, so you can do either way. So it won't get hung up, right or left, so no matter which side you prefer to have it on, you could turn it around. This is padded, it doesn't look like it is, but this is a, a really nicely woven um, fabric, um, kind of like a really, I don't know, um, the strapping that they use, but it's really flexible and soft and it is padded and there's actually two seams of threading that you can see to hold it on and, um, and It's adjustable to wear front or back and this part right here is also padded and it really does almost look like leather Although the fumes would tell you that it's not um, It's padded in the back right here and again they didn't do one, one seam, they reinforced the seams. And there's side straps just for cinching it down. Um, it came up like loose up to here. I know some people say you could clip things on here. Um, I personally wouldn't. I just think it's just for cinching it tighter if you wanted to. Um, but I re-cinched it to make it fit perfectly for the width that it is. Um, the zippers work really easily. This is a cloth zipper. A metal zipper. It's not nylon. It'll last longer than a nylon one. The interior is ample. It goes the full body. There's a hole here for bringing out a cord, whether you want a power bank in here or you want um, a headset, whatever. Now, I happen to have a headset right here, and I was just going to show you. The interior has got um, an elastic onto this little pouch here, and then there's another one, a little slot here, and then there's another zipper right here that runs shallow, it only can fit my, my hand in up to there, okay? But this other one goes further. And then this one goes the whole length right down to the bottom. The bottom itself is not padded, but it is cavernous, it is large. You could fit a lot in there. Um, here's a, a set I've got of Bose um, headset that I like to carry, and I don't like to carry it around my neck. So that fits nicely in there. Plenty of room, a lot of room here and towards the back. Um, and like I said, the front zipper as well. This has got a double zipper. It's kind of cute. I like that better than the single. And, um, and if, it will expand all the way out to here. So you can see, I mean, it's really well made. It's a perfect smaller size. Um, I'm going to heat these up a little bit so that the shape gets changed to, you know, not bow out where they used to have it cinched down. But all in all, this is a really well made bag and it's great for gift giving. It's flexible. And the other thing I really like about it is they don't have any badging on it. There's no um, foreign uh, writing on it of any type. Nobody knows where it came from or what it is, um, who made it. I like that. Um, so many times, um, a lot of companies that I've never heard of will put their name across it. And I think it detracts from the, the item itself. So I like that this is more minimalist and that there is uh, no writing or insignias anywhere, and uh, good cushioning. So yeah, get it.